McGee Ravens. I'll get them on. I think you'll see. Waiting for Thursday. All right, see ya. Hi, Big C. Hey, pal. Hi, Anna. What's up? What's going on? What's up, brother? Big C, the uh, the Periscope peep said, can we come see Condon? So I said, you know what? Who am I to disappoint? I was just telling Condon what sticky boobs are. What's, what are sticky boobs? As a female. What are a sticky boobs? A bra that's not a bra that you wear under white dresses. I don't know what that means. So it's going on. Like Anna it was in here. She's got to wear an outfit coming up on Friday. She's got to wear a white dress. Okay. So she was saying well, she's got to stay on the, you got to stay on camera here, Rich. My bad. I was just doing a show and you walked in. Well, I'm, I'm doing what the audience wants. They said, can we see Condon? So what? Uh, so Anna was telling me. Now, Anna? All right. Anna was telling me about sticky boobs. Now, Anna, you got to yell. You got to stay back so people right, can good. see you. All right. Sticky I mean, you boobs. walked in here. Sticky boobs. When what is sticky boobs? When you're a girl and you have to wear a white dress or something you can't wear a bra with, there's these gel things you uh -huh. can put on your breasts. And yeah, it holds yeah, yeah. Up. yeah. No, no, no. See, he walks in here playing, playing like he knows. Fun. You know damn well Skull Man on AFR doesn't have any clue cool with freaking sticky boobs like is. Bucks. No, I know what they are. Because Eric, well, I shouldn't. Uh, Eric, has, yeah. They, they, you put them over, over the nipple right there. So it's yeah. like if you don't wear a bra, you do that so you don't nip. And it has a little support. Has a little support, yeah. What if happened when bra just showed up and if the room was cool, they had sticking out boobs? <laughs> yeah, the little nips. <laughs> and the little nip nips. <laughs> Watch. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. That's going to be my, my new uh, profile picture. You say, you know what? Every someone's, time you come in here, every time you come in here, that. you make me look like a fool. Oh, no, my bad. I'll make you look You give me I an make, opportunity to look like a fool. Exactly. What am I, I'm not making you do anything. These people say, can we go see Condon? Now they're they're asking you questions and talking to you. You need to respond to them. I don't know what they're saying. I can't read that. Ha ha. Conversation I was expecting to hear. All right, y'all ask Condon questions. Y'all wanted to see him. Here he is. Give me oh, one, Condon. something new. I'm just doing a show. I don't know. Skona comes in here when his time is good. What we got, Skona? Well, I got an interview with Mark Schlereth rolling right now. Okay, good deal. I spoke with Stink. Oh, today, so, you, so you got a re, uh, pre recorded deal. Recorded interview, yeah, yeah. Okay. I love him. He's my favorite. Condon, give us a scone story. Do you smell that? Do you smell that? Yeah, it smells I'm good. Hungry. She's I'm eating sorry. vegetables. Condon, give us a scone story, an embarrassing one. Uh, scone story and embarrassment. Well, I don't really have anything. I will say this, though. Scone man is the best friend any man can ever have. And I'm saying that. You know, he's got my back. I got his back. That's real. That is real. We believe in the same principles and the same character and everything. I love you, Scone. The guy's the best. The guy's the freaking best. I got his back. He's got my back. That's what it is. Me and Big C have been through a lot together. A long time. Yeah. Hurricanes. Condon, how do you how do you feel about Harris starting? Let me tell you something. Let's get serious. I told you two weeks ago at the Taste of Tiger tailgate, LSU is going to go 14-1, and one, and it's because Brandon Harris is going to be the quarterback to lead him in that direction. Kirk Herbstreit is not just saying that without having any inside info, and of course he gets all that inside info from Panansky because he talks to the people within the building. <laughs> He does. Like, why do no, you find no this question. so hard to believe? There's no question, because LSU you always just give people in media wearing shirts, 104.5, who just walks in and eating the free food and gets in and out of the elevator and goes to the press Tell conferences. Tell us how much you like people like LSU out. always just shares personal know. inside info Richard, from practice. Like, Richard, I Look. can't believe you don't. What? What else we got? What else we got? Well, how do you think those guys get every coach on the morning show when nobody else Let me tell you, coaches? what do people in the media bitch about the most? What do they bitch about? Access. All the silly willies in the media. They bitch about access. Yes. We can't see this. We can't see that. It's unfair. Les Miles, he's not giving us injury reports. However, all these silly willy goofball media types, what do they do? They get on the air and say, well, when I'm hearing in the elevator inside the building, the peeps are telling me, if you can't even go to practice, do you honestly think people who listen to radio shows honestly think people that anybody has any inside info? Let me get this right. So everybody accuses Wes Miles of being very secretive. He's not going to tell you anything. Media's bitch and little goofballs who need to drop about 20, they complain about they don't have access. And their listeners want access, want information. But yet these same oh, people the but yet these same oh. people are going, well, they're telling me inside the building. Let me tell you something, people. I understand you are begging for information. Nice belly button, Skona. I understand you want the info. I 
understand all these people who do talk shows are trying to mess with your insecurity, telling you that, hey, wait a minute, this is what I'm hearing. Hey, wait a minute, my neighbor told me, and he's Les Miles' lawn guy. They don't have a clue. They don't know anything. All they do is mess with your insecurity and your human emotions. Anybody who can't see the guys play when they want to see the guys play, anybody who can't get the uh, injury information from Les Miles, how in the hell are they going to get on the air and say, well, word is inside the building. There is no word inside the building. Les Miles is the most protective of his players, the most secretive coach when it comes to injuries and roster changes and depth chart than any coach in the history of LSU football. But yet you're going to let people tell you on the air, well, word inside the building. Hey, Derek, I love you, brother. You and I both want to deal with Sal. You're the very best. You do a job I can't do. You break down X and O, going through the A gap and all of that. I get it. We're going to go with a two-man here, three-man there. We're going to bag it up. We're going to switch out. We're going to do all of this. It's like Jack in the Box. People, it's a radio show. People just want to be loved. People want to be appreciated. And they want you to think they're more important than what they really are. That's me. Rich. Take care. But he really does, like, text and talk to the coaches all the time. Yeah, me too. I talk to him and they say, God, I'm not giving you any damn thing. We don't give anybody Conden, anything. I've seen, I've seen him right. on the phone. All right, whatever. All right. Now, look, you want to take your little phone and your little periscope and go back in AFR? Because, see, Matt's not in his studio right now. Hang on a second. Let me ask you a question. You came in my house. You came in my house. Okay, you're right. So, Matt came in my house here, and I'm getting ready to do another live bit. But Matt came in here because he's got something taping. You know, he taped an interview. Taping. Anybody can tape an interview. Are you kidding me? Anybody can tape an interview. You know what people do? They tape interviews, and then they edit it, and then they do this and do that. So, some of the stuff that you should hear live, Matt ain't giving you. You know why he ain't giving it? Because he's here in studio no, watching no, no, Annie no, no, eat noodles no, no, no. with a little beef straw. Right. Whatever she's doing, he's in here. That's why. I didn't edit anything out of the Solarith interview. I took it raw and put it all on there. You'll, that's a clock, Big C. So we good? We good. We done. Matt knows how to park. Oh. Who said that? Let me tell you something. Take it back. Don't you say anything about my wife, my kids. Don't say anybody who means anything to me, okay? I've been on the surf for 55 years. Been married for 31 years. And if you say I can't park, I'm going to hunt you down like the dog you want. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. We don't need to, to say it, Rich. We can see it on the video I'll put on YouTube. It's going on. I'm going to follow you home each and every day. Follow I'm going to find home. something. I'm going to put it on video. Okay, Let's please go mad something. I'm going to get you. Hey, look, I'm going to get back. Revenge is mine, saith the Lord. I'm get <laughs> Say it, the Lord. Uh, Are you good now, Scooter. This is great. Co- Periscope hey, can saying I say this. thank you to everybody. Uh, I love you, Scooter. You know I love you. Anything you ever want, no time of day. I know. is going to be inconvenient. You realize now it's our turn. You, you smell the vegetables. Again. Can can't that. get that on the Matt Moscone. <laughs> Look at that. It's like Anna went there at two thirty in the morning and dug through a Chinese food lunch, trash bin and, and she heated it up. It doesn't fill you up. They're making fun of your jeans, Conda. What's that? They're making fun of your jeans. <laughs> I'm making fun of my jeans. Your jeans. What's wrong with them? Well, I I'm mean... Wranglers. I don't give a damn. I wear a pole and I wear a Wrangler. Hey, let me tell you something. All you <laughs> son of a buggers who are making fun of my jeans, when you can put on a pair of 32-inch waist jeans, then make fun of me. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> How much time, James? Uh, a little bit over four minutes. Oh. The incomparable. <laughs>